Okay. Hello, everyone. This is Art Matters New York. I am Mark Safin. I'm here with my colleague, Hans Vici. Yes, hi, everyone. And okay. Uh, Hello, everyone. This is Art Matters New York. I am Mark Safin. I'm here with my colleague, Hans Vici. Yes, hi, everyone. And okay. So someone has a second device that is feeding back. Mark Safin. I'm here with my colleague, Hans Vici. Yes, hi, everyone. Does anyone have a second device that the sound is turned up? Okay. Hopefully that won't happen again. So anyway, we are Art Matters New York, and we are a painting group. And uh, now that we are on Zoom, we are discussing our paintings. We used to be a studio class and conducted um, classes in painting. And now we're talking about our work and we've been doing that for the last three years. And if you're watching this and we know that you are and you're a painter, we would love to have you get involved and uh, send us uh, examples of your work and we will tell you how to do that in time. We're, we're just recently online. And, uh, but in the meantime, we are going to discuss works that we ourselves, um, our class has done, our group has done. Um, so uh, I hope that you spend a little time with us and uh, see what we do and uh, consider submitting your own work. Um, does anyone wanna add anything to that before we take a look at some and take a look and talk about some paintings? No, <laughs> I take that as a no. Okay, in that case, uh, let's take a look at, oh, let's see where I am. Here. So, um, I'm curious. So um, this is a piece by Marsha Yeager, who is one of our regular painters who is not here with us today. But she was intending to be here today, so she sent us this piece, and I spoke to her earlier, and she was happy to have us take a look at it. Um, <laughs> so this is something, uh, a, a format, these are ideas, geometric ideas um, that she's been working with for a while. I'm guessing this is, uh, I'm not sure if this is acrylic or oil. I know that she's been beginning to use oil again. She was using acrylic. Um, because she was working indoors, but now the weather is beautiful. So she's working outdoors. So this could be oil, but these are elements that uh, she's been working with. Um, and they are all derived from nature and from her own experience to some extent, meaning her interest in architecture. Um, mostly I can see a lot of architectural elements that we've seen in the past um, that were more literal and uh, uh, you know archways and rooms and shadows, which were all derived from trips to Italy, photographs of churches and chapels in Italy and the color um, that would be uh, mm. suggestive of that specific light in Italy. Um, Hans, do you want to 
do, uh, do you know that we look the right way? To, uh, to, uh, I don't know. That, I think so. I think so. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh huh. Right. Right. Is she joining us later or not? Probably uh, not today. No. Uh huh. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I I think it's a uh, it's quite uh, sort of complex. It's uh, for me it's a bit dense everything, but not mm -hmm. over overly done. Actually, so it's not. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's fine, but it's a lot of things to digest here. I have a feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Mm -hmm. uh, so many elements. I think it's paint. It, it's nice painted. It's it's a uh, it, even uh, it's so dense. Uh, there is some lightness uh, there too, with. Uh, how she applies the color thin and uh, it's uh it's somehow intriguing you know I've, I've, uh, the longer i look at it the more it, it develops something yeah uh, in my yeah. brain uh, to me it it has um it's another step in the process of her using these forms and shapes. And uh, it seems to me to be very well integrated. It's very, um, it, it, there's a cohesiveness to it that I like and a resolution uh, that I like that I didn't always find in the earlier work. This really feels like a later step on the path Yeah. Yeah, I like I like how there's moments um, of there's it's unexpected moments that somehow come mm -hmm. out of the painting itself. Like this little yellow highlight, you know, is is fun. It's like, well, most of these other areas are solid color, but mm -hmm. this is a like a flat geometric piece but yet it has this little yellow highlight whereas mm -hmm. we know that this is a sphere so parts of part of it is in sh is in shadow and part of it is in light so there's little uh moments um mm. that are you know unexpected that i think are just you know spontaneous that are just part of the process and i think it gives it some play it gives it some interest and play it's like we don't really have to know why it's like that. You know, we don't have to rationalize it. We can just look at it and our eyes can be pleased, you know, somewhat surprised and go along with the experience of what, you know, what she painted and what we see. I think that it has a very quixotic space in the pink that curves like a, a cane, an up, uh, upside down cane, it's pink. And yeah. there's a um, uh, horizontal, more or less, a crescent. And yeah. I think that's the most quixotic uh, point in the painting, which is really very well structured. Yeah. It has that point. It becomes, it turns you into a different space. Yeah. Space is a very, I think the word is quixotic. Okay. Yeah, I also like, you know, compositionally, I like these two strokes that mm -hmm. are somehow exist on a different plane than the rest of this. Like on this side, things become a little more, you know, a little more, uh, I don't know if it's the word is, if it's threatening, but it's a little stranger, like this color, both of these colors actually, somehow, and they're both just strokes, as mm -hmm. opposed to these other painted areas, they're different in color and different in application, and 
uh, I don't know, they have a little bit of a, of a, I don't want to say sinister, but there's something else going on back here that I don't, you know, that mm -hmm. is somehow different than the playfulness of this. Well, there are many dark moments in this painting and they're there, the blue on top of yeah. it. Yeah, yes. Um, um, uh, is that has that strange eerie feeling to it that you were talking about, Mark, on the right hand side? Yeah, I think the darks are kind of creepy and good. I do too. Yeah, yeah, I do too. I think that's what but makes. It, it I just, think that's what kind of makes is making this interesting. Yes. Is that there's otherwise it's just a con conglomeration of forms, very well put together. Mm. And all of these little touches, I think, show that Marsha is in a different space in painting. Uh, she actually uh, texted this to me yesterday. And my daughter and I were having coffee and I showed my daughter and my daughter said, wow, that's Marsha. She was mm. very pleased. So it was a nice yeah, and I, and I, You know, and I also think, and I wish Marsha were here today because she could tell mm. us a lot about this. But I think what's going on with this work, as you're, you were saying, Phyllis, is that she is doing these very openly and very spontaneously. And I think she's allowing stuff to happen in this work, stuff to come through that, you know, that might not come through had she been, you know, not evolved to this very open format this open play in other yeah, words so lot, there's a lot coming through it's very organized which make which makes for great tension i think yeah okay we're gonna move on thank you marcia um mm -hmm. this is marie's uh mm -hmm. marie's here marie do you want to Say something about this. Is this new? Can't hear you. Um, it's sort of new, like uh, maybe six months. I did this. Oh, okay. Mm. That's recent. Yeah. So it's four feet by five feet, and mm. to me, this kind of feels like a figure. And I left it this way because I was just kind of playing with that figurative feeling, which I don't usually do. Um, I love the oval, Marie, because I love ovals. I do love that oval. I like the... Um, in uh, in on the right hand side, that uh, form just the long form with the uh, black um, Stripes. line across it. I like that. That's interesting. Um, mm. For me, that would be a jumping off place to keep going. But that's okay. Yeah. Uh, that also is to me the a very salient uh, part that I like very much. Is there these are these little pieces are collaged, right? Yeah. That's, and this. Yeah. Oh. So they what is, is that paper <clears throat> that was just on the floor or something or what? <laughs> it was a photograph. Uh, colored photograph, and I, um, you know, put wow. pieces together. Because mm -hmm. this is a this piece is four by five feet, so that means these are very large photographs. They're big pieces of paper, right? No, no, they're not so big. Maybe they're oh. five, four or five inches. Okay. Yeah. Well, I like this little thing here a lot because it looks like a flower. It yeah. looks like a you know crazy flower on a stem with just this you know scribble. I love this scribble mm -hmm. that ends in the, the mm. head of a flower. 
And I think that works very well with mm-hmm. this, with what everyone else is sort of calling attention to, uh, which is, you know, are these. Like a snake. Yeah. It's, it's there's something going on that's interesting, that's enigmatic, that mm-hmm. I, I like it more than a lot of this other um, stuff that isn't quite gestural. It's, yeah. you know, I'm not sure what it is. I mean, I like the form. You know, I sort of wish that there were areas of this gesture that felt like it was just um, gesture, you know, uh, you know, just the brush with yeah, some more air, with more air around it. Like it feels a little bit heavy, a little bit heavy handed. Yeah. It looks like maybe you went over it a few times rather than just, you know, letting the gesture uh-huh. be the, you know, be the gesture itself. Yeah. What what I what I like is in a way that it's even it looks a little bit awkwardly uh, squeezed into that f- format, you yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, but that makes it interesting somehow. What what I then uh, actually not so like are these white splatters, for instance, which are just afterwards thrown on that canvas. For whatever uh, they don't do anything. They, they for me they disturb the whole thing, or or or, you know. Also these red platters, they are. I like as you said, mark the flower or what it is. That's interesting. This other other thing going on, mm-hmm. you you know. And so there is some concentration in there, but then suddenly some gestural things just to uh, which apparently probably too fast uh, you know uh, sometimes you have to stop on a certain point and really wait and and let it settle you know uh, before you do something else uh, in my opinion uh, <clears throat> here it's a bit too too uh, too fast <clears throat> Uh, you know, applied stuff, you know, uh, to because you didn't settle down first and reflect it over the work. Uh, so that's my theory, you know, I mean. I'd like to go my, back to the oval because of the that huge oval in the middle. Yes. Uh, getting back to the spot that Mark liked, those are ovals. And then also there's an, uh, a, a vertical, um, horizontal oval and suggested so that there's those areas of intentionality are very intriguing. I think that's wonderful. Yes. And you have, but then as Mark was, I'm sorry, Hans was saying those spots don't, you know, they don't come into the play. They're interfering, but I love those ovals. Uh, if you take a look at what's his name's ovals, oh, shoot, uh, um, the one, yeah, so, ovals are so well. So with, in the case of Twombly, it was they're scribbles. They, Twombly you know, they're, does it's all, all about ovals. writing. It's all about making marks, scribbling uh, on yeah. the surface. His, actually, his paintings are big ovals. Some of them. Yeah. Yeah. But Marie, um, I I think what Hans said is really is right. You know, the way that this is sort of, you know, fits the way this thing kind of is, you know, this has this asymmetric, uncomfortable, you know, tension. There's tension in the way that thing fits on the rectangle of the canvas Mm -hmm. is really good, is really good. And it feels really interesting and good. And mm. I just wish that that was more its intention. In other words, it doesn't need, like, you know, we're, we're talking about the splatters. Well, what are they? So it doesn't need all of the other decorative elements. In other words, if you were just to distill it to this, these, you know, conti- continuous shapes that sit in the rectangle, you know, like elbowing, against the edges of the rectangle, you know, that give it this kind of presence, you know, this sort of spatial 
um, what, what's the word present, um, that is an, that's an interesting idea. And it could be done very directly and efficiently without, without a lot of other distractions. In other words, just focus on that, you know, get a brush full of paint and just, you know, push it around inside of that rectangle. Like, get me out of here, you know, or how does this, how do I fit in mm -hmm. here? How does this work in here? Mm -hmm. You know, because now there's like a lot of different little things going on. I do like the yeah. flower and, and the scribble, you know, maybe mm -hmm. that could work somehow too, you know, but I think um, uh, that, you know, whatever it is we do, ultimately it has to be sort of clear in some way doesn't mean we have to understand it, you know, or know necessarily what we're doing or what we're after. It's, you know, we're just kind of having fun or it's an exploration of some sort. But I think that in, the, in a painterly sense, there has to be a certain kind of, you know, consistency, focus, directness, you know? I think I can say that. Actually, those dots could become lines of different widths. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And become a lot stronger than these dots. Mm -hmm. you follow them along, they are lines. Um, yeah. I really um, like the energy of this piece, Marie. Um, can you hear me? Because my yeah. voice. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, my voice is a little sore, a little weak. Um, I really like the energy of this piece and I do see a figurative uh, shape in here. And mm. um, I was going to say earlier that for me, part of the appeal is that figurative sort of shape. Um, I, I see exactly what I guess Hans was speaking about, which I love the way it sits in the on the canvas. Mm. I really love that. There's almost a a sense of, um, I don't know, like above almost a figure leaning over with its head looking the other way. And mm -hmm. um, and the, um, the scribbles mm -hmm. and the flower shape is, is interesting as well. And I don't even mind the, like the white drips down here and the black lines, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm not sure about the pink dots. I mean, I like the, I, I kind of understand them, but maybe I'm in agreement. I'm not sure that they add to it, but I just like it as a whole piece. I like the whole thing. So. You know, I, I want to make one more uh, um, suggestion. Um, and, and it's a sort of a painterly uh, approach. Um, you know, I think that occasionally you could just take a big brush and just, um, you know, while the paint is still wet, just, you know, wipe it off. Let it and then go back again and put, you know, the gesture down just to kind of create some levels, some painterly, you know, levels, uh, uh, you know, amb ambiance, some scrims, you know, just a, you know, dripping paint, but, but thinner. So then you have, then you would have the, uh, the more impasto paint, the thicker paint, you know, along with some more painterly possibilities, painterly elements, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, you know, I'm thinking of, you know, someone like Bryce Martin who, who might do that, you know, who would wash the painting off, you know, any number of times and uh, getting the, uh, you know, the, the um, what's the word, the, uh, you know, the, 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 the earlier layers of the painting until it develops. And then you have a, a more developed surface and that's a possibility. So in other words, it's just to, in other words, there's more of an element of time as well. So Hans was saying, slow down a little. You know, I think that also, uh, you know, would help slow down the, 
experience of the of looking at the painting is that is if we knew that there was more time uh you know in there you know the painterly process had taken a little more time yeah i think uh, that uh, mary thinks more uh, uh, action painting wise yeah. in a way you yeah. know yeah and that's completely you know i think differently and i like this piece because it is sort of a figure sitting somewhere in a corner or whatever yeah. Yeah. At the same time, there is so many things going on. I see at the same time a shower hose, you know, a, a bent shower thing where you, you know, when you have, uh, you know, the hose of the shower, you know, and, and yes. there's even a phosphet, you know, on top. So, so it is mm -hmm. a very sort of, in my brain, a very, very interesting painting, you know, which I maybe uh, even uh, adopt this idea and make a painting myself, you know. Uh, out of it, <laughs> if I may, Mary, uh, and, uh, be because because I like this idea, you know. I see so many things here, you know, it, which uh, which 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 make something uh, uh, almost surreal, uh, you know. There is Kafka esque. Huh? Is Kafka esque about that? Right, exactly. You know, it's something uh, that looks it, like it, hands to me. Right, but but in a way, it's because the water is is something which which uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 is is essential for life, you so, know. At the same time, you have a a, a, a depressed figure sitting here, you know. Uh, it, it's a you know in that sense, it's a very it, it's a great inspiration. This painting, you know, for me, mm -hmm. I have to say. Wow. Well. Uh, yes. But the point, yes, wow, exactly. But the point is, you know, you had some completely something else in mind, you know. Yeah, but you Do know you understand? So my re reflection about the uh, uh, artwork is sometimes so completely something else. Then you know, it's like a, it's like really a Rorschach test, you know, which you see mm -hmm. a block and you see completely something else, and they see completely something else, you know. Yes, uh, you know. But but this painting has this quality to really trigger things, you know. Yeah. Uh, but in that sense, it's not. It's it's uh, of course not uh, 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 a completely abstract painting in that sense, you know. Yeah. Because when you look at uh, what was his name, Rich uh, Rachid, uh, which makes this uh, Ringel painting, you, you know, this. Like like uh, Said Wombly made, for instance, these orange paintings in the maybe ten years ago or whatever. Yeah, you know, which are just lines uh, repeating, I and see. you know, and so on. The uh, lines have more strength than the dots, yeah. and but they are really abstract because you don't see anything. You know, it, it, that's what I always say when you look at at the uh, at the uh, 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 Pollock. It's hard, you know, if you just drip paint on the floor, or you know, it's very hard to that you that at the end you don't see something in there. Mm -hmm. You don't see anything in Pollock's painting. It's not suddenly an elephant, you know. It's just abstract, but it's very hard to do. You have to yeah. do a lot of uh, thousands, uh, ten thousand, millions of droppings that, that this is just keeps abstract. And yeah. not suddenly see a bird there, which you don't want to see, you know. Right, that's right. It's, that's a, it's very hard. That's what people sometimes don't understand when they say, "Oh, this could be that's, that's could be my child could could paint this." It's not true, you know. It's a, it's very hard to make a real abstract painting, for instance. Well, I think Pollock painted nothing. Yes. And exactly. And yet it's something, something very powerful that's in all of us. In fact, he very, was very good analogy of, of Pollock. Thank you, Hans. Excellent. Love it. He wanted to go back to representation. Yeah, he was, he, died, that's right. he was talking about that. That's but right. I love this, Marie, and I, I feel the pressure 
of the strokes against the canvas, you know? It's just such a nicely contained, um, there is, you really do feel the yeah. form against the canvas. And since I like to do layering, um, I'm almost wondering if that might be a possibility over some of your, uh, some of the more explosive lines, if, if you weren't satisfied with it. I mean, it's very interesting as it is, but you know, the red and the white and the blue, I kind of almost want to go back in there and see what I would make of it with a, with a broad brush that still is minor compared to the dominant figure. Uh, to me, that figure is really a snake. And that's what made me think of Kafka. Oh. <laughs> it's a trapped snake. And I think that's fabulous. I think you shouldn't change anything, Marie, except those dots just draw. To my thinking, if you make strong lines out of them, I think this is going to be fabulous. Yeah. Well, you know what? I appreciate everybody's input because I like this painting and I don't love it, though. So I uh, think that the input's been really helpful. Well, it's very hard to really love Kafka. <laughs> <laughs> but I, what, what I am trying to do is trying to have like very strong images, but it's strong. Yeah, but uh, maybe uh, I'm trying to throw the image back a little bit with the additional marks, but no. you can see that that's not- that go the other way. Yeah, it doesn't work as well when right. the actual images are supposed to you be- You want to weaken it, you're going to strengthen it. Right. So I, I thank you for the input. I really appreciate it. And I, I think that I can make this better you know, with everybody's input, yes. I appreciate it. Yeah. It's a very exciting piece. It yeah. is, it is. And it, it almost makes you feel like uh, going in there and doing something with it also. <laughs> <laughs> but it's yours. I would do another one. You do it, girl. I would do another one. I would just uh, try okay. another one. I, I wouldn't go back into this. You wouldn't, oh. This piece. Yeah, I, I wouldn't uh, do that either. Go leave it. Go leave, do another leave one. it. Leave it. You know, you you know, you leave it. Leave that. Yeah, leave it. And but you see, when you maybe you should look at the series of certain painters uh, as side Wombly, You know how he did this orange painting, and mm -hmm. I think you you could do something just with this blue line. You know, have, yeah. having this uh, uh, anthropomorph idea about the figure, but just doing it with those lines in a way, simple and see what's happening. You know, that, that that's actually, you know, the, the, the concentrating on, on something, you know. He had a very limited palette, um, yes. right? And that, you know, that's part of the approach. Uh, well, that's good. Well, thank you everybody. Yeah, I, I like it. I like this, this broken uh, shower hose. You know, it looks yeah. like at my home, and, and oh. it's it's just a great, uh, great thing. You know, I like that. You know what uh, I've been learning uh, <laughs> about mark making is that when I put all these different colors down, it stains the canvas, and then I use a squeegee in a certain way, and then I get that kind of um, okay. effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, which mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. It has a place somewhere. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Marie, I love it as well. I think it's really amazing. And I, I feel like you like just captured a moment in time. Oh, thank you. I'm All right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mary. Um, we're going to look at uh, something that Leslie sent. Oh, let's see. Um, okay, there we go. I just see the top of the frame. Yeah, I don't right. know. Right, it will. Hold on a second, let me. Mm. 
Aldona, uh, are you nice? You are working in the garage, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. nice. I like that. I'm. I want to get back into real painting. So what I'm doing is this thing has been blocking the, the plumbing, so to speak. Once I get this out of the way, then I can do what I really like. But I, I don't want to leave it unfinished. Oh. Sounds like a good plan, yes. <laughs> okay. Like so Leslie sent three. Leslie, are you here? Yes. I'm okay. Here. I'm here. <laughs> so you sent us three paintings. Right? Only this one is framed. Um, so yet all the subjects relate, right? Yeah, they were all painted at the same place in the same time. They're very small oils. They were, it, I was plain air painting for the first time in my life. Um, and these were done um, not super recently. They were done in uh, late 2020. Um, so about three years ago. And they um, I just really like them. This one is framed. This one was sold. So um, the other two aren't sold. Uh, someone bought this. Well, you one. better go and frame the other two. <laughs> I yeah, I think the other two are framed now. I think okay. those pictures were before they were. I think they're framed very similarly, but they're very small. But I just. So how big um, are they? Um, they're like small squares, like six by six. Oh, that's small. Yeah, they're very small. They're like little petite, eight by eight, maybe little small squares. Because I was painting outside and I wanted to start small. And mm. I was painting with oils. And um, I, you know, when I first did them, I was really proud of them. Now I'm a little bit, not that I don't like them, but now I'm a little bit, um, now I see more of the things wrong with them, I guess. But um, I think they're, um, you know, I just, I like that I did them. And it, and I think that I would be do better painting in the studio if I did more of this outside actually looking work. Because I never really actually do realism when I'm looking. I always somehow go off in my mind. And that's, it's a very hard thing for me to look like and just, I, like I do it for a while and then I start leaving and then I have to come back. Um, but it's really good practice. What kind of paint is this? Oil, oil paint. Were these done in one session? Um, not, um, not, no, they were each done in a session. So they each were done like in a four hour afternoon, maybe, maybe overlapping. So maybe one was one and a half sessions or two sessions. So you never... So the paint never had time to dry and before the painting was finished. Not really. Meaning it was all wet on wet. Mostly, yeah. I mean, I might have gone back in like another day to do it, but at the time I it was 2020 and every it was the end of 2020, but still like people were still wearing masks inside and stuff. So I remember it was like kind of getting cold out and it was it was really interesting because when you're outside, it's so crazy, especially near water. The light changes every five seconds. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the light changes every five seconds. Mm -hmm. and, right. You know, and so, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it was very challenging for someone like me who just, um, yeah, mm -hmm. who goes off in their head so much. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I think it was really good. Like I, I, I sent these because I want to do more of this. And and maybe it'll be more of an abstraction, but I, I want to do more of it. Hans, what were you saying? So they are plein air paintings, sort of. So, yeah. <laughs> but they really push into abstraction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like this one, I think, you know, the whites and the different, you know, very close mm. tonalities of whites and beiges is beautiful. I do too. I love this one. And the mm. shadows, you know, and then the composition. Yeah. It's really nicely done. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. I love the, I love on the right hand, uh, lower right, that blue is beautiful oh. with that beige. 
I think the compositions are, are very strong. They yeah. really hold the space very well. And the color yeah. in this is beautiful too. Yeah. A lot of contrast. I mean, a lot of uh, mm. character. Mm. I note here a little bit the white, too white, these dots here. I don't mm. know. Are, are they uh, painted white or is that the, the, the paper or the canvas? Um, I think most of it's paint. I mean, uh -huh. there might be like a few spots of canvas, but most of it's, um, I think most of it's white paint. Mm -hmm. I think the canvases mm -hmm. are pretty covered, you know? Okay. I love the softness of, of this, this particular one. Mm -hmm. um, the, the abstraction and the, the softness, the way the colors are, are uh, blending together. It's very beautiful. What was the red dot? What, where did that come from? Or was that just you going somewhere on your own, in your imagination? Um, I think there was, you know, it's hard for me to remember, but I think there it was, was a red a, dot. Yeah, I think there was a red, an, actually an object on the ground that inspired okay. me to put that there. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if it was a mistake or not. No, I, mean, no, I, I like, like it. it. Yeah. yeah. Because it's like, like it. you have like a vertical line of red <laughs> objects. You know? Right. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Leslie, are you taken <laughs> to doing these tiny pieces that look like jewels? I mean, I'm so, so, so you know, know. it's interesting because I like either very large or small, you know, <laughs> I end up, I do have a lot of medium sized work just because of practicality. But mm -hmm. I prefer either little special things or really big things. I like, you know, mm -hmm. and I don't like I, I wouldn't like these paintings if they didn't have some touch of color in them, because I don't mm -hmm. like I don't like. Um, you know, I don't like just sort of muted colors without some kind of contrast, so I really like mm -hmm. contrast. You know, and that's the same with the size, you know, I like the little mm -hmm. tininess. If I were gonna, I I could I would also like to do them super large. You know, I think that'd be very interesting. Mm. Yeah, they're, they're wonderful. I love them a lot. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. I do also. Yeah, I love the I love the detail in here back. Mm. You know, and considering this is such a small canvas, this is really a very this little blue mm. line here. Yeah. It's a really lovely unexpected detail. They're very gem-like. Yeah. Thank you. And even the space in between the two boats mm -hmm. here. Is really nice. yeah. And then I like the one sort of angular, almost like a paper, you know, or, you know, folded out of paper. Whoops, sorry. And, yeah. uh, and then the red tongue. They're so totally, you know, different. Mm. I like that. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm happy with the background in this particular one, but I think, hmm? I think it's okay. Yeah. Yes. I like yes. them. They're really quite nice. Yeah. 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 There is a certain poesy in them. Yeah. A certain what? I'm sorry, Hans. Poesy. Poesy. Poetry. Poesy. How do you say? Poetry. <laughs> Poetry, not poetry. <laughs> poetry sounds better. Yeah. <laughs> this, this pink, this little bit of red right here. Look how that's really beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So subtle, yeah. but yet it's there. It asserts its, you know, redness, pinkness. Mm. But it's very, very quiet, very understated, but it's there. Mm. Yeah. So I was painting with, um, with, a actually uh, the gentleman who was my thesis professor for my MFA, I was painting outside with him. He's very experienced and he had taught me a lot about, um, you know, he taught me a lot about mixing color and seeing color and, you know, taught, you know, taught me how to make my colors instead of just 
fine color. And um, yeah, I, I would, I, you know, I would like to go back to doing more of it because it was really a great learning experience. Right. Were you making your color from scratch or you're talking about mixing? No, just mixing, just mixing. Right, yeah. Mm. Very well, nice. This, this, uh, you, this white dot there is a little bit too white for me. Um, but leave it. You don't. You don't. Uh, you mean this one here? The, the, you mean this? This dot? The, yeah. Yeah, this one. Uh, why? Or why me. is that too white for you? I, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for me, it, it, it's. I don't know it, why, but it's too white because it's too it. white. It's too white. Why? 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 <laughs> why white? It has oh. a luminosity. This painting. Yeah. Ooh. Look at the red next to it. Uh, it wakes yeah, up. It's great. Everything is great. It's just a little bit. Uh, it looks okay. more like uh, uh, so you know missing color to me almost. But uh, mm. it's uh, it's okay. This is toneless, isn't it? Oh, I just love it. Mm. I love it too. Mm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the shadow. This shadow uh, also is really nicely done. Mm. And this color right here is really beautiful, that shadow. Very nice. I agree, they're so peaceful. And it, but they're peaceful, but they're interesting at the same time. Mm. I, I think you really, they're beautiful. Thank you. So like in this range of grays, you know, it goes from the green here into this, mm. you know, red or violet here but they're mm. you know to the blue but they're all within the very very close range mm. of grays and I, I think the way it shifts is really effective mm. very nice thank you oh, yes yummy very, very, very good painting mm. thank you so that's it today Right, was um, exciting. Um, a huge palette of <laughs> a white thing. Christine, what's that behind you? That painting. Actually, of that's a painting I did in your class about maybe six years ago, or right. I sort of remember. Um, yeah, yeah. It was based on you know having a like a floral appearance, and I uh, wanted to work big. And it's so this, this is it, thanks. I like it. it, it, it it's or, I, I like the organization, the composition and the white with the other red flowers, I think it's working. It's great. It looks like it has a lot of depth from here. I'm not, I'm We're just... off the air now, right? No, not yet. <laughs> I mean, why, what, why, what do you want to say? Why? I think you should say it to the, the whole audience, whatever it is. Are we being recorded or can, or not? Or can we speak openly and honestly? <laughs> We're still being recorded. The whole world can listen now. <laughs> Aldona, it's your time. Nah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a nice session today. So um, thank you for... Sorry? Yeah, it was a nice session we had today. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think so. I wish that Marcia had been here to talk a little about her own work, but we will catch up with her um, next week. And, uh, and hopefully next week we'll see work from those that didn't present anything today. And I hope that if you're watching us, you consider uh submitting your own work which would be great and we will discuss it in exactly the same way we'll look at it and really think about it and talk about it and enjoy it so thanks a lot for joining us and hope to see you next week yes have a nice week everyone thank Bye. you very much have a good week Thank so you. we're just signing off. 
of the live stream now, but we're going to stick around on the Zoom. Okay. Can I? I just I didn't I didn't um, have.